As a medical doctor and lifestyle expert with extensive knowledge in the field of female health, I'm fascinated by how complex, genius and beautiful the menstrual cycle is. Our hormones are guided by our neuroendocrine system, an information highway that connects our brain with all of the other systems in our body, as well as the ovaries, uterus and vagina. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the fundamentals of female physiology throughout the menstrual cycle. These entangled lines are in fact a depiction of hormones throughout the woman's menstrual cycle. These hormones have an enormous influence on how you feel and how your body functions. These hormones don't just affect our reproductive organs, they also affect our brain, heart, skin, thyroid and even our hair. The menstrual cycle is an intricate and complex journey. On day one, the menstruation starts and the endometrium that has built up in the prior weeks begins to shed. At the same time, a new cycle starts because follicles, which are immature egg cells that need to ripen, start to grow under the influence of the follicle-stimulating hormone, also known as FSH. These growing follicles make another hormone, called estrogen, and one of the follicles will become the dominant follicle, which causes estrogen to continue to rise and results in the thickening of the endometrium. During this period, clear liquid mucus is produced, which presents as vaginal discharge. Next, we approach the midpoint of the cycle, ovulation, or the release of a mature egg from the ovary. The ovaries are getting ready for this event and make an even more estrogen. Estrogen, in turn, ensures that more serotonin is produced, the feel-good hormone. The luteinizing hormone, also known as the LH hormone, gives the last push and ovulation occurs as a result. After ovulation, something even more remarkable happens. Something we call the yellow body develops. It's the follicle shell, which rapidly becomes a sex-shaped gland. It reaches a size of 2 to 5 cm diameter and exists for around 12 to 14 days. The yellow body releases the hormone progesterone. Progesterone initiates the second half of the menstrual cycle, preparing the uterine lining for a possible pregnancy. Progesterone makes you feel relaxed, calm, improves your sleep, and even has an anti-inflammatory effect on the body. In the next phase of the cycle, progesterone and estrogen levels decrease around 10 days after ovulation. Because of this decrease, women might experience an increased sensitivity to pain and changes in bowel movements. Finally, the thickened endometrium will shed and menstruation starts, also known as the first day of a new cycle. It's important to remember that hormones are messengers and body signs are the messages. Becoming familiar with the dance of your cycle will help you to understand how it's affecting your mood, energy, sleep, appetite, focus, hair, skin, sex drive, and even your digestion. You can think of these messages as a powerful inner GPS, guiding you to use your energy efficiently and make the best choices for your well-being. In our next video, we will explore the key ingredients that make up an optimal menstrual cycle.